Many have called the financial reform measures the most sweeping financial reform in a generation. Others criticize it as toothless. Republican leader John uh, Boehner described it as using a nuclear weapon on an anthill. Yeah, I, wish, I, so I suppose he wishes he hadn't said that, but he did. <laughs> What's your take on the financial reform measures? Well, it's 2,300 pages long, I believe. I, I have not read it. I mean, I, I think the two most important things... And they're not easy to do, but uh, but the two most important things to get at is changing the incentives for the CEOs and the boards of the really big financial institutions, and reducing leverage where it's uh, uh, exists in kind of extreme amounts. And both those things contributed to you know the panic we had. Now the, the, it started with a real estate bubble, but these institutions where people had, in my view, bad incentives at the top and too much leverage, uh, exacerbated it dramatically. Any sense, without having read the 2,200 pages, that, that there are elements in that reform that change that? I don't see much on incentives. And, and that may be hard to get at, but I'll, I'll tell you, human beings do respond to incentives. If you take all of the huge institutions that we all know the names of that cause big problems, None of them have left, CEOs have left in sackcloth and ashes. I mean, they, they are rich, rich people still. And do you think they should have? Yeah, I think, I do not think they should have. I, I think they should suffer the same fate that the person who gets laid off, you know, four layers down the line suffers at a place like that. Yeah, I, they, they had a chance. I mean, there ought to be some downside. It, it gets back to the BP question. I mean, it, it, if you're on a, if, if you participate in an activity places great strains on society, costs all kinds of innocent bystanders to pay a huge price, you should go away without much. <laughs> so if Lloyd Blankfein came to you and said, look, I'm, I feel accountable for the role that Goldman played in all of this, I feel that I should go. Yeah. Would I you support I, that? I, no, I don't think Lloyd should go at all because I don't think Goldman, uh, Goldman did not, they, they did not pose a risk to the system. They were one of the nine called down there by, by Hank Paulson on that fateful Monday. They did not need the money. If, they, if I thought they needed the money, I wouldn't have put the money in earlier. I mean, <laughs> so knowing what you know now about how all this has unfolded, would you still make the same investment that you did in Goldman Sachs? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm.